a trail at go hunt uh last night i hit send on my last application for 2021 which was wyoming antelope and deer i'm hoping for a little luck in the draw uh, but that's actually got me thinking about the next step in the process which is equipment and boots is a major component of each and every one of our gear uh, list for every year um, boots are a critical factor for you as you move forward into hunting season. I would highly suggest you do your research, find a pair of boots that's going to work for you and get miles on those boots so that come fall, those boots are totally broken in. Um, nothing can ruin your hunt quicker than a pair of bad boots. Uh, with that, uh, recently we've done a video on a bunch of new boat boots that we're looking to bring into the gear shop. Uh, today we wanted to highlight one specific lineup which have been super popular. They've got a ton of energy right now. Um, I've been wearing a lot of the Hanwag boots for several years, and I'm gonna talk about some of the different models that I've used and that I like. But we wanted to run through the entire lineup of Hanwag boots that we carry in our gear shop. Uh, Hanwag makes an excellent boot. They're a European uh, made boot brand. Um, a little bit more room in the forefoot than maybe some of the Italian models like a Scarpa or a La Sportiva. Um, they fit my foot really, really well. So if you want to check my boot profile under any of those Go Hunt uh, product pages, you can kind of see what my, my foot looks like as far as shape and length. Uh, but any one of these Hanwag boots works really well for my foot profile. So I'm going to start down here on the end. Uh, the first shoe I've got here is the Makra Combi Low. Uh, it's not quite as stiff as the Makra Combi Mid, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. This one you can see is quite flexible in the sole. Uh, this is just a nice everyday hiking shoe. Uh, this would be a great option for some of the low country. If you've got a low country mule deer hunt or an antelope hunt, uh, or if you just want a basic everyday hiking shoe to kind of kick around in. Super comfortable shoe, synthetic leather blend, uh, and obviously you've got a little bit of a rubber rand around the toe cap, which is nice. Uh, I think it's a good looking shoe. Just an everyday wear and tear shoe uh, with the Vibram sole, which is great. Uh, kind of piggybacking on that, kind of from that same Makra lineup, you have the Makra Trek. Uh, this is a new boot for Hanwag in 2021. Uh, it's got the same sole as the Alverstone that we'll kind of touch on here in a sec. Uh, this is a, a slightly more flexible version of the Makra Combi, which has been hugely popular for us. Um, and there's a lot of guys that are absolutely loving this boot. Um, so it's a little bit more flexible than that. Once again, you get this leather synthetic blend. Uh, you get a nice height in this boot, um, nice and lightweight, also breathes really well, really well given the fact that it's a, a blend of synthetic and leather. Um, I've had a pair of these for about three months, been wearing them around, and I really, really like these. I think if you're looking for a do-everything kind of boot for mule deer, antelope, even some elk hunting, uh, I think this is an excellent option, especially for early season hunting. Once again, that's the uh, Makra Trek. One of the most popular selling boots from the Hanwag lineup has been the Makra Combi. Um, this is a really nice boot. Uh, I had a pair of these a couple of years ago, wore it on an elk hunt in Wyoming. Immediately, you know, jumped on a plane, flew to Alaska and wore it on my Alaska moose hunt. Uh, it's got a decent amount of tread on it. Uh, this is a stiffer sold boot. So this boot, we give it a four on our flex rating. So it's gonna be nice and supportive, especially in the steep stuff, both off the toe and uh, laterally. Um, it's a leather synthetic blend, so it's going to breathe really well. It's lightweight. You get a full rubber rand, um, a decent height that's not overly tall, but it's tall enough that it's going to give you some support uh, through your ankle. I would say of all the Hanwag boots, this has definitely been a shop favorite and definitely a favorite among staff. We sell a pile of these and it's for good reason. It's because it's an awesome boot. This would be an excellent option for early season, uh, steeper country, um, elk hunting and mule deer hunting. A uh, brand new boot for us in the gear shop from Hanwag is the Hanwag Banks. Uh, you can see that this one has got a more aggressive tread. So we give this a two on our flex scale. So you can see it's a more flexible boot. It is full leather. You've got a leather toe cap on the end here, which is nice. This is just an everyday hiking boot. Um, if you know, you're know you looking for a boot that you'd be able to pull out of the box, put on your foot and go hunting, or for a long hike, this would be it. Uh, you can see you get about a six inch height on that. Good tread. That's one thing I notice about this boot is you got really deep lug tread there. It's going to be great in the mud or any kind of wet vegetation. It's got more of a tacky sole than some of their other boots, so it's going to grab rocks, um, you know, even when wet. Uh, that's the uh, Hanwag Banks. That's been a popular boot and a brand new boot for us in the Go Hunt gear shop this year. 
Next option is the Tatra Light. Uh, this boot has been really popular among a bunch of our staff. Uh, Brady's got a pair of these and is really, really digging these for early season hunts. Comes in a couple colors, including uh, this black and silver, and then also kind of a Gohan edition uh, option, which is kind of a black with some orange accents. It's a really good looking boot. This boot is also quite flexible. It's not got the stiff sole, which means it's gonna be uh, easy to break in, almost no break in time in this Tatra Light. Um, obviously the name's gonna give it away, but it is a super lightweight boot. It is all leather. Uh, you got a suede upper with a toe cap here on the end uh, of a rubber round, which is gonna protect that boot from wear and tear. One thing about uh, this sole, which they do use, like I said, on the uh, Makra Trek and also the Alverstone, which I'll talk about here in a sec, as you can see, they've uh, removed some of the lug and they've created larger and a deeper lug pattern. You get really, really good traction in this sole. Um, so this will make an excellent option for people looking for an early season hunting boot. You could do anything from antelope hunting, mule deer hunting, and even some elk hunting in more moderate to mild terrain. Uh, probably the best selling boot for us uh, over the last couple of years since we started carrying Hanwag has been this Alverstone, which is a really nice boot, do everything option um, for Hanwag. Uh, it's got a leather synthetic upper, so the upper piece here you can see is almost fully synthetic, which reduces the overall weight. You've got a suede lower portion covered with a rubber rand that goes completely around the boot. Uh, again, you've got that same sole, which gives excellent traction and tread. It's got a little bit of tack to it, so it's going to give you good traction on wet vegetation or mud. Um, this boot has been one of Brady's favorite boots as well. He's used this on some high country mule deer hunts. Um, this has been a really, really solid, good option for us. Uh, this Alverstone is kind of middle of the road as far as flex rating or stiffness goes. We give it a three on the flex rating, which I would say for most people um, that are looking to just buy a boot, it's going to be comfortable off the get-go. Uh, it may take a little bit of break in time, um, but I would say that three flex rating is kind of right in the wheelhouse for most people. For deer, elk hunting, you could even do some sheep hunting if you were lucky enough to draw a permit. Uh, this Alverstone is a really nice boot. I will say uh, one thing about this is it does come in a couple of different options, including the regular width and then a wide width. Um, I actually find that the wide width is uh, more consistent with most people's feet. Uh, the narrow or the regular width does seem to run a little bit narrow through the forefoot. You want to pay uh, special attention to this boot in the description when you buy this boot to make sure that you get the right size. It would also benefit you probably to go through the whole measuring process of measuring your feet and comparing that to some of the boot profiles within the individual boot uh, pages in our gear shop. A um, lot of things I really like about this boot. It also comes in a women's version, which we also carry, so you can look for that in the gear shop if you're looking for a woman's boot to do just about everything. The uh, next boot I've got for you is the Tatra 2. So the Tatra 2 is definitely a more robust boot. When you pick this thing up, you feel it in your hand. It's a little bit heavier than some of the other options we've already talked about. Uh, with that, you're gonna get better longevity, typically better wear and tear on this type of boot. And some of these others we're gonna talk about moving forward um, are all kind of cut from that same cloth. They're a heavy duty uh, full leather upper. You can see that this is a nice heavy duty leather. What's great about the leather uppers is that you can treat those. So if you want to put on some snow seal, any kind of leather conditioner, keep that leather supple and also keep it watertight. That's a great option on an all leather boot. Uh, this boot also you can see has a uh, rubber rand on the toe cap. Um, also this Tatra 2 has a much more substantial sole. You can see it's got more tread on the bottom. It's also got a beefier uh, Vibram sole. Uh, when you fill this sole, in comparison to some of the other options like the Alverstone or the Tatra Light, you're gonna feel that there's quite a bit um, more density to this sole. Uh, it's gonna last longer. It's gonna give you better wear and tear over a longer haul. Uh, this, is a this is definitely a more robust boot. The Tatra 2 is going to take a little bit of break in time. This is not a boot that you're going to pull right out of the box, put it on your foot, and it's going to feel, you know, like perfection right from the get go. It's a comfortable boot, but it's definitely going to require some miles to get that thing completely broken in and molded to your foot. Uh, we give this boot a three on our flex rating. So you can see it's got some flexibility to it, but it is rigid enough and robust enough that it's going to provide you a lot of stability on uh, uneven terrain that you're going to find in the West, whether you're elk hunting or mule deer hunting. 
Uh, I would suggest this boot is a great option for mule deer country, elk country, especially kind of that mid to late season even. Uh, it is not insulated, but it feels robust. I mean, when you pick this boot up, the interior of this boot feels thick. Um, it just, it's a lot of boot. One other detail that I really like about this Tatra boot and some of the others, and I'll touch on that moving forward, is that the collar is actually leather lined. Um, it's a small detail, but I really like that in these Hanwag boots. Uh, over time, it kind of molds to your calf and it becomes really comfortable. And I don't know why, but it's just a small detail in some of these upper end Hanwag boots that I really like. So it's that leather lined uh, interior and you find that on this Tatra too. Uh, one of my very favorite boots in the whole Hanwag lineup, um, one of the boots that I've owned over and over again, I think I just ordered maybe my fourth pair of these. This is the Hanwag Alaska GTX. Hands down, this has been one of my favorite boots. Uh, this has been one of my go-tos for that mid to late season hunting. Uh, I drew a second season Colorado tag with my boy. This will be the boot that I'll be taking with me. Um, this Alaska GTX is a full leather boot. Uh, it's a thick leather. You can treat it with a snow sealant or a waterproofer or uh, even a leather conditioner that Hanwad makes, which is an excellent product for these Hanwad boots. Uh, you have a full rubber rand. You have a robust Vibram sole. This sole, it's not got quite as much tact to it. So it's maybe not as good as on like a wet surface, you know, rock or grass or that kind of thing, but it does really, really well um, across the long haul. So you get a ton of wear and tear out of this boot. Uh, the previous pairs of these that I've got um, wore really well, as well as any boots I've ever owned. So if you're looking for an option to get multiple seasons of use, multiple years of use, this Alaska GTX is an excellent option. Uh, one thing I would note again is it's got that leather line collar, which I really, really like on that boot. Uh, this boot is stiffer than the, than the uh, Tatra 2, so we give this a 4 flex. It's going to need some break in time, um, but this is actually a boot that I plan on using again this year. I love this boot. If you're looking for a do everything boot from, you know, alpine mule deer hunting to late season elk hunting, uh, it is not insulated, but it feels warm, super comfortable. Uh, I would absolutely recommend this Alaska GTX. Uh, every once in a while you draw an early season alpine archery mule deer tag and it's in some steep, rough, nasty country and you need a boot that is super stiff but it's also really lightweight and wears really well. Uh, I think that's where the Hanwag Ferrata shines. Um, the Ferrata is an alpine hunting boot or climbing boot. It is very stiff, so we give this a 5 on our flex rating. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. It is a very stiff boot which it's built to be. It's gonna give you the support through your foot that you need when you're hunting in steep alpine environments. It's got great tread. You can see um, they've actually dropped some of the lug pattern in it so that they can reduce the weight. You've, got still, uh, you've still got enough deep lugs there for good traction and tread. Again, it's a Vibram sole. This boot is a leather synthetic blend. So you can see you've got some leather portions here uh, where it needs to be reinforced, which is where the lace loops tie in. You've also got a synthetic portion, which is gonna breathe better. It's also gonna cut down the weight of that boot. Uh, this boot is a decent height. I like the fact that it comes up over the ankle, especially for alpine climbing. Uh, this boot does fit a little bit narrow through the forefoot and it's built to, to be that way so that you get better purchase into the hillside in really steep uh, environments. Uh, this Ferrata too, like I said, it's a great early season option. It's a great sheep hunting boot if you have an early sheep hunt. Um, not insulated, but it is waterproof with a Gore-Tex liner. Um, great boot, super lightweight, super stiff. All right, moving down to a couple all leather options, which I think make a great hunting boot overall, especially for mid to late season type of hunts. Uh, the first option is not insulated. The second one here is. I'll run through the differences between those two. Uh, first up, this is the Tatra Top. So this is very similar to the Tatra 2, which I showed you here earlier. It is slightly stiffer through this sole, so we give that a 4 flex on our rating. This boot is a full 10 inch tall boot, which is definitely one of the taller options in the Hanwag lineup. Again, you have a thick full leather upper. You've got a rubber rand that goes around the length of the boot. You can see you've got tons of tread on that boot. It also is a stiffer Vibram sole. 
this rubber is going to last a whole lot longer than a lot of the other boots uh, that we carry in the gear shop. I can attest to that. You're going to get years and seasons uh, of use out of this sole. One thing I really like about Hanwag boots, and they have this in a lot of their boots, I haven't touched on it previous, but I would like to touch, it on, touch on it on this set of boots, is the way that their lace loop system works. They have like a ball bearing built into that that you can see sits on the back side of the lace. What that does is it kind of spreads the tension of the lace out across that and it allows that lace to glide across that ball bearing that sits on the inside. Uh, I don't get broken laces in Hanwag boots like I do in some other boots that have a simple hook. Um, that's just a tiny detail, but again, I love the details in Hanwag boots, which is, is one of the reasons I absolutely love their lineup. And moving on. We have one of the burlier boots in our lineup here. This is the Trapper Top. This is a lot of boot, uh, but it's designed to be a late season hunting boot. I would say this is an excellent option for late season mule deer and elk hunting. Uh, it definitely has a stiffer sole. Uh, we're gonna give that a four and a half on our flex rating. It's gonna take some break in time. Uh, it's a full leather boot. It is also insulated, which is a nice option if you're looking for a late season hunting boot. It's one of the taller options next to the Tatra top here. This is the Trapper top, again, 10 inches tall. You can see the sole on that is unique to uh, Hanwag's lineup. It's a different sole than on any of their other boots. It's a stiffer Vibram rubber sole. This boot is going to last forever. If you are looking for a boot that you're going to get years of use out of, this is the Trapper top. Again, a really nice option, like I said, for late season hunts, especially for mule deer and elk. This thing can take you clear into December and January on those late season cow hunts even. So that's a great little option for you. Hanwag Trapper top. Brand new boot uh, this year for us is the Hanwag Sirius GTX. Uh, I've had a pair of these for about a month now. I've been wearing them a ton. I probably got 50 uh, miles on them or so. I'm actually really, really liking them. This is a stiff boot, so we're gonna give this a four and a half on our flex rating. You can also see it has a full leather upper. You do have a small portion here, which kind of lightens up uh, the boot. And it also is pretty comfortable. It's kind of a foam uh, synthetic that goes around your ankle uh, there towards the top. Uh, fully crampon compatible. You can see you got the toe for hooking up a crampon. Uh, this is an excellent option for you know mid to late season hunts in really steep country. Um, if you're looking for a boot to go to Alaska that's not going to give up on you, this is an excellent option. Um, potentially the only downfall of this boot is it's going to take some break-in time. It's going to take some real miles in this and it's also a little bit heavy overall, although you know maybe not a whole lot heavier than some of the other options we've already talked about. Um, it is insulated, which is another nice option if you're looking for a mid to late season boot. Uh, my feet run cold, so this is a nice option for me running late. The Sirius 2 is a boot that Donnie Vincent just used on his re recent hunt uh, for Caribou. So if you guys want a, a quick overview of his thoughts on this boot, you can jump on Hong Hanwag. You can jump on Hanwag's website and, and take a look at that. Um, this is actually a boot that I really like, and I'm really interested in, in uh, putting more miles on this and potentially getting some hunts in later this fall, some mid to late season hunts, I would say. Last boot on the table. This is the Hanwag Friction GTX. Uh, this is an interesting boot. This is a boot that Brandon here in our gear shop is really interested in based on the fact that it is a lighter boot because it is a synthetic leather blend, but it is also insulated. So lightweight insulated boot. It also has a relatively stiff sole. So we're going to give that a four and a half on our flex rating. If you look at the sole, you'll see the sole resembles the Trapper Top, which is a very beefy, heavy duty, long lasting Vibram sole. Uh, this boot has kind of a unique use case. I would say this is an excellent option for mid to late season hunting. When you're wanting to drop a little bit of weight, uh, but still retain some insulation and also waterproofness, it does have a Gore-Tex layer in it. So this is kind of an interesting option if you're looking for a lighter weight, late season insulated boot that uh, offers you maybe a little bit more breathability. Um, this is an interesting option. So this is the Hanwag Friction GTX. This is also a brand new boot for us in the gear shop. I would say that this is an interesting option for mid to late season hunting. 
Maybe if you're looking at a late third or fourth season deer hunt or a late season elk hunt, this is an interesting option to drop some weight off your feet, but also retain some insulation, some warmth, and you're also gonna get great wear and tear and uh, stability out of this boot. So that's the Hanwag Friction GTX. So that is our entire Hanwag lineup from our gear shop. Hanwag makes a boot for every season, whether you're looking for an early season stiff alpine hunting boot to a late season stiff warm uh, hunting boot for alpine conditions or maybe even something in between that's got some more flexibility. Uh, they make a boot for every condition, every hunt. Uh, I've found personally that the quality and craftsmanship in these Hanwag boots has been excellent. Uh, some of the longest lived boots that I've ever owned have been this Hanwag Alaska GTX. So I would definitely say that's a consideration we're thinking about when you're buying a new pair of boots. These are all available right now in the Go Hunt gear shop. If you guys have questions about any of these models, please drop a comment below. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Now's the time to get a new pair of boots, get them broken in. Uh, hunting season will be here before you know it. Buy a pair of Hanwags and get ready to go hunting this fall.